tutorial. Um, I thought today we'd have a look at um, Pygame. So uh, I'm going to open up a little program called a little file called template at the moment. It's got nothing in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a template file for Python games. Um, because I think that often when you do um, when you do Py, when using Pygame, you're typing the same sort of basic structure quite often. So I think it's quite a useful idea to have a um, to have a template file to base that on there. Uh, so what we need to do is initialize the game engine after we've imported uh, Pygame. Um, and then uh, in programming it's considered sort of bad style really to have a lot of uh, what we call magic numbers uh, dotted through your text of your program. So in other words if you're going to have some variables that you're going to use or some values that you're going to use it's good to put them in a, in a variable early on. And then if you do need to change something you know where to find them they're right there at the top of your program. So I'm going to just go for a size of my window. Whoops. Um, I'm going to also define a speed. So FPS uh, stands for frames per second. Um, then I'm also going to put the title here as well. Another thing I, that I think is useful is to define some colours. So um, when we're using Pygame we uh, put our colours as an RGB value. So somewhere on the internet I found this for raspberry. It's quite a dark colour actually but it's, it's a quite a nice raspberry sort of colour. Then we'll go for some other basic colours that we might need. So green is 0, 255, five. whoops, 0, um, black is just all zeros, blue, obviously this is not very difficult but uh, it's just helpful later, no red, no green, and then maximum of blue value. Um, red, 255, and uh, we'll have yellow as well. Uh, so yellow is 255, 255. Zero. Actually, I don't know why I've tried to space these out because it's not quite so easy on idle to get them all lined up anyway. So I'm just going to neaten that up a little bit. And then if you wanted to add another colour in, you could easily just add that to your little list of colours here. I think that'll be enough. Um, so and then I'm going to actually start setting up my window itself. So screen. Equals pi game. Display. Set oops, mode, and then I can pass in this variable size, which will tell it how big I want my graphics window to be. 
I'm going to create a screen rect which just makes it a lot easier to work out where things are relative to the screen. So that's screen.getRect. Um, I'm going to set my title. So um, obviously now I can use that variable which I, I've already created. So I just type pygame caption then I'm gonna set a loop by doing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a variable called done to false so that means that by default the program is not done it's not finished uh, and then well, there'll be a way of actually stopping it within the loop, uh, which you'll see in a moment. I'm going to set, a, make a clock, which is going to take the uh, the frames per second value later on. Uh, now we can actually start the main loop. So I'm going to run it with a while loop. So it's going to just keep going as long as done is still false. Um, first thing I'm going to do is fill the screen. So for this example, um, we're going to go screen dot fill. We can use any of our colours, so we can go for yellow maybe. Then we need to do an event handling uh, part. It's only going to be one event in this thing, which is so for event in high game event dot get. So that means it's going to check if anything's happened. And the only one we want to worry about at the moment is if event type equals equals pi game dot quit. In other words, if somebody's clicked the uh, the cross to close the window, then we set done to true. So that will mean the loop will not um, will not run another time after that. Okay, now we can uh, set the speed. Oops. So we just go clock tick equals, and then we can use, oh no, sorry, not equals for this. We use our variable FPS. Then we need to actually update the window, otherwise there'll be nothing to see. We do that by saying pi game dot display dot flip, and that's nearly the end now of this uh, template file. But we just need to put one more thing in. So if the loop exits we need to stop pie game because that can sometimes cause problems uh, if you just let it close without doing that so pie game quit so if I run that hopefully I've forgotten my colon <laughs> so something has gone wrong there <laughs> oh I've spelled that wrong okay Something is going wrong here. 
Oh, okay. So I have my yellow window, um, and it says Pi Game Window in the top, and that's working fine. Okay. Um, I'll actually stop there now, and I'll, I'll do another video with how we're going to actually transform this into something that's a little bit more like a game.